Welcome students. Today we will solve second problem on kinetics of particles based on Newton's second law. So let us start today's lecture. So we are given one statement over here. Let us read that statement first. Two blocks shown start from rest. The horizontal plane and the pulley are frictionless and the pulley is assumed to be of negligible mass. Determine the acceleration of each block and the tension in each cord. So over here we are given one situation. We are given one block. It is named as block A and its mass is given to us as 100 kg. And we are given two pulleys. One is a fixed pulley labeled as D and second is a movable pulley and it is labeled as C. And we have another block labeled as B and mass of that block is given to us as 300 kg. And we are asked to find acceleration of each block that is of block A and block B. That means we have to find AA and AB. And we have to find tension in each chord. So we have to find tension in these four chords shown to us. And it is mentioned that the horizontal plane and the pulley are frictionless, means there is no friction. And the pulley is assumed to be of negligible mass. It means we have to consider mass of the pulley equal to zero. So in order to solve this problem, we have to first see how many free bodies we have to draw. So if you will see carefully, you will find that in this problem, there are three bodies which are in motion. Block A, Block B and Pulley C. It means we have to draw free body of these three in this particular problem. So let us first start with Block A. So let us construct its free body. After that, we will observe its motion. So let us construct free body of block A. So in order to construct the free body of block A, first of all, we will represent that block on the horizontal surface. And after that, we will label the forces. So the first force which we should label is the weight of the block. And we are given mass of the block as 100 kg. So we will multiply that with 9.81 to get its weight, which will be 981 newtons and weight will always act in downward direction. After this, we will show the normal pressure which will act normal to the horizontal surface on which this block is resting. Then in this particular diagram, we are shown that this block is connected to a cable and uh, this is a block of 300 kg. It will move in downward direction. So block A will move towards right so there will be tension in this cable towards right. So let us show that tension now. So in the free body of block A, we have to show that tension towards right. So let us call that as T1. Now over here in this question, it is written that the surface, horizontal surface and the pulley are frictionless. It means there is no friction force acting in this free body. It means these are the only forces which are acting on block A and we are ready with the free body of block A. Now let us see the motion of block A. Now in this question we are asked to find acceleration of each block. It means both the blocks are moving. And this block is of 300 kg. It will move down which will make this block to move towards right. So it means whatever forces are acting on block A, these forces are responsible for the acceleration of block A towards right. So we can say summation F is equal to MA. So over here MA is representing mass of block A, AA is the acceleration of block A. So we have concluded that block A is moving towards right with an acceleration of AA. So it means we can use first equation that is from Newton's second law summation fx is equal to ma. So let us see how many forces are acting in x direction. So there is only one force labeled as T1 over here which is acting in x direction. 
so this equation will reduce to t1 is equal to ma aa and we are given mass of block a as 100 kg so we will replace ma by 100 so equation will be equal to t1 is equal to 100 aa now in this equation we have two unknowns t1 and aa so we cannot solve it so let us call this equation as equation number one for time being let us move to the second block now we will draw the free body of second block that is block b and we will understand its motion so let us draw the free body of block b so in order to draw the free body of block b we have to first represent the block and first force which we will show in this free body is the weight of the block we are given mass of the block as 300 kg so we will multiply it by 9.81 to get its weight that will be 29.43 newton and we have to show it in downward direction in the free body and we know this block is connected with the help of a cable over here so in the free body of block b we will show weight in downward direction and that weight will be balanced by tension in this cable so let us represent that tension as t2 so in the free body of block b there are only two forces acting one is the weight of block b acting in downward direction second is tension in the cable connected to block b which will act in upward direction now we know this block is moving in downward direction so it means this system of forces is responsible for the acceleration of the block in downward direction so we will say summation f is equal to mb ab so over here we will apply the first equation that is newton's second law summation fy is equal to ma now let us see how many forces are acting in y direction so there are two forces one is weight of the block second is tension in the cable now we will consider that force positive which will act in the direction of motion now weight is acting in the direction of motion so we'll consider this as positive and tension is acting opposite to the direction of motion we will consider that as negative it means our equation will be minus t2 plus 29.43 is equal to mb ab so this equation will further reduce to t2 equal to minus 300 ab where 300 represents the mass of block b plus 29.43 so in this equation we have two unknowns one is tension in the cable t2 second is acceleration of the block ab so we cannot solve this equation so let us call this equation as equation number two for time being now we will consider the third body in this problem that is the pulley now it is mentioned in the problem that pulley has a negligible mass so it means we will consider mc is equal to zero now let us draw the free body of this pulley and let us observe its motion so in order to draw its free body we have to consider pulley and we have to consider three cables attached to that pulley one is connected to block b and second is wrapped around the pulley so we have shown these cables over here now let us show the tensions in these cables in this cable we know tension will act in downward direction because this cable is attached to block b which has a mass of 300 kg so it will pull that cable in downward direction and in these two cords tension will act in our direction which will balance this pulley and these tensions will be t1 only because this cable is connected to block a so same tension will be there throughout in this cable now let us see its motion now when block b will move in downward direction this pulley will also move in downward direction but over here it is mentioned that we have to assume mass of pulley as zero so it means this summation fy will reduce to zero so we'll apply equation summation fy is equal to ma 
But over here in this question, we are given that we have to consider mass of the pulley zero. So this equation will reduce to summation F y equal to zero. Now let us see how many forces are acting in y direction. So there are three forces. One is T2 acting in downward direction, which is acting in the direction of motion. So we'll consider this as positive. Other two tensions are acting in our direction, which is opposite to the direction of motion. So we'll consider these two negative. It means final equation will be T2 minus 2T1 is equal to MCAC. But MC is given to us as zero. So this equation will reduce to T2 minus 2T1 equal to zero. Now in this equation, we have tension T2 and tension T1. And we have already found the values of T2 and T1 in the free body of block A and in the free body of block B. So we will say put value of T1 and T2 calculated in the free body of block A and block B in above equation. Then we will get equation as minus 300 AB plus 2943 minus 2 into 100 AA equal to 0. Over here in this equation, we have still two unknowns. So it means we cannot solve this equation. So we have to find a relation between these two accelerations in order to get only one unknown in this equation. So let us see what relation we can find between these two accelerations, means between acceleration of block B and acceleration of block A. So for that, we have to understand the motion again. Now let us see what is happening over here. When block B will move in downward direction, then block A will move towards right. And let us suppose block A has moved by x units towards right. That means if this cable has moved by x units towards right, then that length of the cable is wrapped around this pulley. And because of this, block B will move only half of the distance moved by block A. So we can say the distance traveled by block B is half the distance traveled by block A. So we can say if XB is the distance traveled by block B, and xa is the distance traveled by block a, then xb will be equal to half xa. And when we will take double derivative of this equation, we will get acceleration of block b equal to half the acceleration of block a. So we have found a relation. The acceleration of block b is half the acceleration of block a. Now what we will do, we will put value of ab in equation 4. So we'll replace AB by half AA. So you can see we have replaced AB by half AA. So now we have equation in terms of AA only. So we can find that value and we'll get that value as 8.40 meter per second square, which is acceleration of block A. So we have got our first answer. And we have concluded that acceleration of block B is half of acceleration of block A. It means AB will be equal to 4.20 meter per second square. So we have got second answer. Now we have to find tensions in these cables, means we have to find T2 and T1. So for that we will say put value of AA in equation 1, then we will get value of T1 as 840 newtons. Then we will say put value of T1 in equation 3. In this equation, we will get value of T2 as 1680 newtons. So we have found accelerations of block A and block B. We have found tensions in these cables also. So I hope this answer is clear to you. Thank you very much.